Good day everyone. My name is Nur Jalila Binti Abdul Jamil and my ID is 9404140256200001. I'm the manager of the customer service department of our company. And today I'm here to present a report on the findings of handling difficult customers in 2022 and to offer solutions that will benefit both our company and our valuable customers. Earlier this year, our department was instructed to investigate the customer service issues of our company. We received numerous complaints from our customer about the difficulty that they face when trying to communicate with our customer service representative. As a result, uh, we conduct a thorough analysis of, of our customer service procedures to identify the root causes of the problem. Issue number one is long wait times. Based on our analysis, we identified several issues that customers face when trying to communicate with our customer service representative. One of the common customers issues that we have identified is long wait time on the phone. When a customer calls our customer service department, they expect to have their issues resolved promptly and efficiently. However, when they are placed on hold for an extended period of time, it can cause frustrations and dissatisfactions. To address this issue, we need to implement strategies to reduce wait times and increase customer satisfactions. One solution to implement an automated callback system that allows customers to receive a callback when an agent is available to assist them. Additionally, we can improve the efficiency of our call center by optimizing of our call center software to better handling incoming calls. Issue number two is language barrier. Another customer issue that we have identified is difficulty understanding our representative due to language barriers. Our company operates in multiple countries and employ representatives from diverse backgrounds, which can create language barrier when communicating with customers. To address this issue, we need to implement a multilingual customer service support system that provides customer with the options to communicate it, to communicate with our representative in their preferred language. This can be achieved by hiring a new representative who are fluent in different language. Additionally, we can provide our current representative with trainings to improve their language proficiency and ensure that they use simple and clear language when communicating with customers by addressing language barriers and avoiding technical jargon. We can improve customers' satisfactions and ensure that our customers feel hurt. Issue number three is lack of skills. In addition, we have also identified a customer's issues regarding representative lacking the necessary knowledge and skills to solve customer issue. When customer contact our customer service department, they expect our representative to have the necessary knowledge and skills to resolve their issues. In the event that our representative do not process the knowledge to aid customers, it may lead 
to customer experiencing a sense of disappointment. To address this issue, we need to conduct regular assessments and evaluations of our representatives to identify areas for improvement and provide target training to address those areas. We can also establish a feedback loop where customer can provide feedback on their experience with our representative and use this feedback to identify areas for said training program. Issue number four is inadequate escalation procedures. Another customer issue that we have identified in adequate escalation procedure for complex issues. When customer have complex issue that cannot be resolved by our representative, they need to escalate to a higher level of support. One other hand, having efficient escalation procedures in a place can expedite issue resolutions and leave customers feeling satisfied. But on the other hand, a lack of proper escalation procedures can cause delays and result frustrate result customer frustrations. To address this issue, we need to review and enhance our escalation procedures to ensure that they are effective, effective and efficient. We can also provide our representative with clear guidelines on when, on when and how to escalate issue to higher level of support. In conclusion, addressing this customer service issue is crucial for our company's success. By implementing strategies to reduce wait times, address language barriers, improve representative skills, and enhance our escalation procedures, we can foster customer loyalty and improve our company reputations. Our company must take a proactive approach to continuously monitor and improve our customer service process and system to, ensu to ensure that our customers receive the best possible service. We are committed to providing exceptional customer service and will work toward implementing these solutions to ensure that our customers have a positive experience when interacting with our company. Thank you for your attention and welcome any feedback or question that you may have. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.